Hey guys, this is the video for Daily Source Tools Price Checker 2, doing a product review of the software. So uh, stay tuned, stick around. At the very end, I give a quick. Hey guys, this is the video for Daily Source Tools Price Checker 2, doing a product review of the software. So uh, stay tuned, stick around. At the very end, I give a quick update to uh, what I said earlier in the video. You don't want to miss it, so stick around all the way to the end. All right, guys, take care. I'll see you after the jump. Website daily source tools slash price dash checker. And price checker two is um, wholesale and uh, wholesale price list analyzing tool designed for people running um, Amazon basically people selling on Amazon. So what they can do is get a price list and then they can in, in like an Excel format like I have over here and we can we can then look at that price list and see if we're going to get a good deal here in shipping it to Amazon. You can put all your information in, but we'll go through that here in a short little short little while here. So this is the software you can run a, a demo here. Got that information here. You can see you can run 20,000 items, or you can run um, you know 20,000 items for free, and that's just one run, one time uh, load, and then you're done. Uh, or you can run, you can buy the unlimited and get um, basically for an entire month $70, and you can load it up as many times as you want for that hour. So what I've done here is I've created a price list of items I have around the house. I use my handy dandy barcode scanner. This is an Inatech barcode scanner. Uh, you can see my review to it. I'll put a link down in the description and um, I'll actually put an, a link to where you can buy this on Amazon. Really nice little device. It is corded though and uh, you can see it creates a nice little red line, laser line and uh, it worked pretty well for this project. Next thing I had was a project, uh, product. I found this thing uh, laying around my parents' house, and I figured, hey, why not scan it? There's also a whole bunch of books in my list here, and um, different things like that. So you can see this UPC code is in the list, so uh, we can go through and find that for us real quick. So what I'll do is just scan the barcode. And there it is. You can see it's in the list here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to run Price Checker. I've got Price Checker up and running here. I have selected my input file, which is stevebooks.xls. XLSX. You can see up here, same name as down here. Probably helps to use the mouse, huh? Okay, so basically you select the file, and it will analyze it and say, hey, these are EAN files it has headers which we do you can see on line one and we have at the very end we have 71 products and it says the UPC column column A B is the price category now I've put in point one dollar or point oh one dollars which is one cent because they're mine and we'll just see what or the, the products are mine and I've used them already so I'm not going to say there is any cost to them. I'm not going out and buying them. And the costs are in US dollars and all the different settings I have set up. Now my estimated ship costs are 70 cents per pound and I just heard that that's a good number to put in there. So you can go through all your settings here and make sure you get all your settings set up. Now these settings are all currently in clear type format so I don't really want to show you these numbers otherwise some bad things could happen to me. Anyway, um, so yeah, so now it's going to be creating this file here on my desktop and we're going to click start. goes through, tells me some of them are wrong IDs which is interesting seeing as how they're all barcodes that I've scanned from the back of packages and then in approximately 15 more seconds these guys should be done 
Sometimes it goes a little bit faster than others. I think it's doing something with uh, uh, checking the actual products out on the, the internet. So now let's go ahead and open up one of these products here, or open up the, the list that it created. So we're here in the list that it created. Now I'm finding that consistency is not one of its strong suits. Because, for example, this time it's found all these products in Amazon. And I can actually open up an older version of the document. See if I can find that for us here pretty quickly. Nope, oh, same, same document. So it must have ever wrote the old document. Anyway, sometimes I've I've found that some of the doc some of the lines just don't get populated for some reason. It seems to be the day. All right, so let's take a look at some of these other items here that are not found on the Amazon supposedly. So we'll go here. On that one, that one didn't get found. Okay. That one didn't. Nor did that one. nor did that product. All right, so those four products were not actually found on the internet, which is pretty cool. So uh, let's, let's look a little bit deeper here. So some of the things that they're saying here, so some of these books are pretty, looks like they're pretty decent priced, so largest to smallest here, so ROI. So it means I make the most money off of this book called uh, Bitter Root. Okay, so we'll open up that in Amazon. James Lee Burke, Bitter Root. Kindle version is 6, hardcover is 1392. And we see that Buybrox price is not listed here, which is why it has such a high ROI. But the BSR is down at 30% in um, here in books, which is kind of cool that it gives you all this information, what the bestseller rank is, and this sort of information. It gives you the category and the number of sellers, different types of sellers, whether Amazon is the seller or not. And it does highlight the yeses in uh, this brownish color. And there it comes back with the reference price. And here's the estimated shares of sales per month. So estimated sales per month says five. So that would say that at least one every five days of this particular book is being sold. And if one every five days is being sold, it probably wouldn't have this BSR. But anyways, 16 million BSR. Let's take this over to a program called, or a website called um, FBA Toolkit. This is one of the programs that is probably arguably one of the best programs for uh, getting actual sales volume rank information. So we'll go into books at 16 million. And they're saying zero. So there it is. So 16 million is saying zero. All right, well, let's see here. So that here we're off a little bit for the number of sales. Let's see if we can sort this column from largest to smallest. It says this one gets 16. 1,600 sales a day. 
and its BSR again is 24. Take that over to um, FBA Toolkit and we'll put that in here 24. It says 4 on average for the last um, more than 18 the last day. So let's look at this one here a little bit, a little bit closer here. So if it says four per day, or four on average, so we'll go here in calculator. So four times 30 is 120. So here they're overestimating by quite a bit compared to FBA Toolkit. There's some other tools that you can use, Amazel, Jungle Scout, all of them estimate pretty close to what uh, FBA toolkit is. I found that in generality um, price checker 2 is usually very very generous with the number of sales per month. Uh, this one for example is 25,529. So 20 5,529 says one in the last 30 days average per day. So that's 30 books a day. So there it's, it's estimating over, or 30 books a month, I should say. So the, here it says 134 books per month. So that's quite a few, um, a few more than what I would consider a decent average or a, a margin of error. I, I think those are really far out of out of um, out of whack. So for that information there to be incorrect and not picking up all the the buy box prices or the you know the information needed to calculate the ROI. You know, I think price checker 2 has some really nice features such that it will automatically uh, select all your your information and run through the entire list but I think there's some definite drawbacks uh, the, the drawbacks that it will sometimes not find all of the products on Amazon even if they are listed and uh, it really depends seems to depend on the day um, so yeah, so guys, uh, if you like the program, I suggest checking it out. It's at least worth a free trial, um, maybe even one day worth uh, or one week, one month worth of uh, trying it out. Gives you some good information, kind of gets you a good feel for looking at price lists in a new and interesting way. Uh, however, when you go to make decisions based off of it, you really need to do your your due diligence and fact check the data here in the sheet. Um, again, I didn't find it quite uh, perfect, but then again, you may have different data, and it's constantly changing. Every month, uh, or every almost every week, a new version comes out with some updates. So I'm pretty sure that eventually there will be some new data. Uh, coming up and yeah you'll get to to see more um, maybe some more improvements in the future and I may even come back to price checker too because right now it is the best price price point compared to some of the other products I've seen uh, the price of unlimited files unlimited times running it really you can't beat it so um, Give it a shot. Check it out, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Please hit the subscribe button and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Hey, guys. I just wanted to update you quickly. I did find that file I was looking for. This is uh, the price tracker, too. You can see the date 2017, April 17th, uh, as, re as opposed to this one. Uh, which was we just did here um, about a couple minutes ago in the video and you can see here that there's four there's four program or four items that weren't found on Amazon and uh, we can find that 
price which is or that product that I just scanned here which was this guy so um, and what I said that this time a lot of things were found and previously things weren't is here you can see this file this was yesterday and you can see that there's quite a few more items that weren't found this time and even the time before it all of these items here weren't found but they were on this particular run during that day so all in all with the instability not instability the inconsistency that's the word I'm looking for of the software I say I still think it needs to mature a little bit uh, in order to come into a place where it can be used as the sole tool for searching for products uh, but as of now with, with all these items that aren't being found um, and even if you check here that one item that wasn't found man that's a winner at what 54,000 or 540 yeah yeah 54,000 percent ROI so I mean hey you know it, it missed out a product that was that awesome here the first time and if I was just looking at the file once and then going to be going on to the next one I would have missed it had I not ran it the next day or again so and all in all guys got to do your due diligence when you're looking for something so far I haven't found the perfect solution if you have again let me know in the video down below alright guys thanks again I've spent a lot of your time so thanks for watching take care